All right, getting into my Tesla. Pressing the brake pedal and the door will close by itself because closing the door by ourselves is for peasants, all right? So today, I'm gonna take the Tesla Model X long range on the road and we're gonna test the auto steer function. You see, I checked the display in this car. I don't think this car comes with the full self-driving feature. I really wanted to test that, but we don't have that today. So we're gonna test the auto steer function. Basically, I'm gonna take this Tesla down the road and it's gonna drive by itself. It's gonna follow the lines and drive by itself. And maybe we will switch lane and see how that works as well. So let's go. Wozniak here, Tom Pang. I hope your uh, YouTube channel's going well. If you have skills in one area, it's important to pay attention to the other disciplines that make a business successful. Marketing and business itself, just wanting to be successful and make money so you can live forever. I wish you luck. This is the first time I'm trying this feature and I have no idea how well it's gonna work. So first of all, let's get on a roll that we can turn the feature on maybe on the Canby Bridge. A long stretch of uh, road that I will feel confident to let the Tesla take over. And if necessary, I will take control back because I don't know what it is gonna do. You know, I don't, I don't want my Tesla to kill me, right? So I'll give you one other good feature about the Tesla and also one negative about the Tesla. You see, with the Tesla, I can put my phone right over there and it'll start charging the phone and I can actually see my phone. It gives me good visibility of the display on the phone. And I give you one negative about the Tesla, the rear view is actually really difficult to see because the window is so small. And I'm still not getting used to how small it is and really have to look carefully. Of course, it has a reverse camera here. If I need help backing up, I can always use the reverse camera, but that rear view mirror is actually not all that helpful. All right, we're getting into position to test the auto steer function. I hope it works. All right. I set the maximum speed that I'm going to travel to uh, 60 km an hour. So my Tesla will not exceed that speed. Of course I can adjust it. Let's go. All right, now turning on the auto steer function by double tapping. Oh, the sun, fuck the sun, man. So now tapping the button twice to turn on the auto steer function. I have to put my hand on the steering wheel, but you know what? It's actually driving by itself. I'm not touching the steering wheel. And let's see if I can turn switch lane. I want to switch lane. Will, will Tesla be smart enough to figure that out? No, Tesla doesn't actually switch lane, but it does a very good job of uh, following the lane. I'm not actually driving. I'm, my, my, my leg is not on the pedal. Will it stop at the red light? I have no idea. There's a red light in front of me. Will it stop? Let's find out. Well, it's warning me something. It's warning me about the red light, I guess. But it's not slowing down. It is not slowing down. Fuck! Okay. I have to interrupt uh, Tesla there because it's not slapping at the red light. Uh, that, that was pretty scary. So now we know that the auto steer function only keeps the car in the lane. It actually does not uh, look at traffic lights or traffic signs or, you know, even help you switch lanes. So this is probably the most basic auto automated driving feature that Tesla offers. And this does not have the full self uh, driving features, which is disappointing. Now I have to get another Tesla with full self driving features so that we can test that. Now I'm gonna try this again, but this time I'm going to follow a car. I'm gonna follow behind a car so that 
we'll see if the Tesla will actually follow the car and keep the distance. If the car in front of us slow down, will Tesla slow down? And as the car in front of us speed up, will we speed up? All right, so I'm going to put into uh, auto steer mode fairly soon, like right now. Right, let's follow the car in front of us. And then set the maximum speed to 60, 65 maybe. So it will never go over 65 kilometers an hour. Look, mom, no hands. Why? Well, I, I should. Oh shit. Oh. <laughs> Actually, uh, Tesla slowed down by itself because it noticed there's a car uh, to the. Oh shit. This is not very good. It's actually going out of lane. Uh, I need to turn on the actually it turned it turned the feature off because I interfere with the driving so let's let's turn us back on again now it's driving by itself and uh, now the car in front of me is slowing down will the Tesla slow down I'm not using my leg on the pedal or the brakes and the car comes to a stop by itself that's pretty amazing and of course we're at a red light the car in front of us is stopped so that's why we're stopped and now the light just turned green and the car in front of us is picking up speed and so are we so actually the Tesla Model X does a pretty good job of following the lines and going straight uh, auto steering itself and following the car in front of us So it keeps a relative distance to the car in front of us. You can configure that distance in the display here, I believe. Uh, why are you beeping at me? I don't know. But so far it's doing a pretty good job. Sometimes the Tesla gets a little bit nervous so it sees a car on the side and it will slow down. And, and when that happens, I panic too, right? And then I, oh, oh yeah, I know why, why you do that. Because you're telling me I need, I need to hold on to the steering wheel. So I'm doing that. Come on, I'm doing that. Okay, you know what? Uh, Tesla is punishing me now because I did not put my hand on the steering wheel. So Tesla just told me that, well, you know what? You're not going to get auto steer feature for the rest of this trip. Damn it. So we have tested the auto steer feature in the Tesla Model X. For this car, the auto steer function does work fairly well. And unfortunately, this car is not equipped with full self-driving feature. I really wanted to test that. So maybe sometime in the future, I will find a car that has the FSD feature and we will be testing that. That's okay. You don't want to auto steer. I want to drive myself anyways, okay? All of all of your features pretty cool, but uh, you know I still like to drive myself. I'm not, I'm not gonna let a computer to do it for me. So take some fucking action. You know what? I really like this Tesla, and don't be a fucktard.